Hello and welcome back. APIs are all over the uh, system design landscape and this is very important component in this system design landscape to interact between multiple components and multiple server, multiple workflows. So API design refers to the process of developing application uh, programming interfaces that's i mean in short calls apis that exposes a uh, data and uh, application functionality of for use by uh, developers and users as well so apis are important to modern organizations uh, adding new capabilities to everything uh, from their operations and products to their partnership strategies right so it's no longer a stress to say that uh, most organizations don't ask whether to engage in api programs but not how to do so this i mean i just wanted to touch upon like in this uh, screen itself you see like user is i mean uh, you know request to the load balancer load button send the request to the web uh, web browser and there are some i mean multiple apis available in between the web server and the application server or cache or uh, or database server right so so these are the uh, these are the i mean you know uh, places where the apis it's it's a it's a first place where the apis can be incorporated to access to other system in the whole uh, system of the product so the apis can be placed at uh, different points of the uh, product landscape here are here are the four important and uh, commonly used areas where the apis are uh, appears really important right so one is the information management layer uh, the other one is the application layer and integration layer and interaction layer. So the information management layer is where throughout the uh, system you have some metadata, some kind of core data available in your system where you want to you know uh, deal with that day to day, right? Or maybe other applications need to be deal with those uh, metadata system. Right? So that's where there is APIs. Uh, APIs, uh, set of APIs are really needed to interact with those kind of, uh, you know, information and manage those information as well, correct? So uh, the other one is the application layer. In the application layer, so let's, for example, uh, there is a microservice running on the system and that microservice is really generating lots of you know matrices related to the load related to the number of tasks are running a number of concurrence you know process really running under that it's, it's just a for example right so how can you really deal with those if you want to build a dashboard on top of that to really monitor those things then how you'll deal with that so you have built some set of apis which will really take care of those kind of information uh, uh, those kind of you know details uh, to retrieve from the application itself so that's that comes into the application layer information i mean other layer would be the integration right so there are multiple pieces of the whole system design and if you want to integrate uh, between all these components then there has to be some you know medium of communication where they can really interact each other so that's what called the integration layer so the api is the only way to deal with those kind of you know system and inter interacting or hand shaking right and the interaction layer interaction layer is also in kind of um, uh, the layer where you want to do some crowd operations kind of like okay you want to update some configuration you want to retrieve some configuration and maybe you will need to clean up some configuration those kind of you know work and functionalities probably i mean uh, for every uh, every system need so this is the layer where i mean the api is also a uh, comment of place why do we uh, want to implement APIs. So that that's where we uh, only talk about that, right? So different layers need different kind of APIs to really deal with the different kind of use cases. So people often I know, misinterpret uh, this question uh, like uh, why we really want to implement APIs. Uh, but, but partially, uh, uh, rather than focus on the value of the api it's helpful to think of the value of the uh, effect of the api right remember it's uh, it's the organization's core business that's valuable not necessarily the api an api is valuable when it becomes a channel that provides new type of access to the existing uh, value an organization delivers another common misconception is a uh, believing that for an api to be a uh, valuable users must be prepared to pay for it 
right so it's it's always not true correct so this is true only if the api itself is the product in most model uh, this is not the case apis are usually driving some other metric cells uh, and affiliate referrals or uh, or brand awarenesses the top technology drivers are to improve application integration improve mobile integration and support the uh, connection to more devices right so the benefits to the organization need to be strong enough to make the decision to invest in the apis and obvious uh, choice for the organization team level questionnaires or the api level questionnaires need to be you know clarified uh, before uh, jumping into that seat. here are the uh, couple of points one should take in consideration while building an api the the best practice uh, practices would be like you know use throttling whenever developing any api enforce api gateway to secure the apis and allow overriding the http method uh, evaluate the apis and infrastructure uh, and ensure the utmost security uh, and of course you know, proper documentation for all those apis you have and whenever you are designing any uh, any uh, api you need to really understand the in and out right in and out means what you are really uh, looking for and what you are sending uh, sending the data to the actual server through that api and what you are expecting that need to be very clear enough for the user uh, when it comes to the usability